This is the Chazar of Gemara Ir bin Daf Mem Hey. We pick it up on the bottom of Mem Dalim Mem Beis. We're in the middle of discussing the Machlek. It's Rabba and Rav Simi Bar Whether we say Havla by the Chum. Rabbi said we do not. Rav Sibar said yes, we do, which means that if your new Tchum of 2,000 Amis that Chazal gave you because you were allowed to leave the city is within your old Tchum of 2,000 Amis, then we say to Havlon, you're allowed to go all the way back to your original Tchum. The Gemara was bothered. Rabbi, you don't hold to that idea, but we see the case of the pit. And Rabbi answered one is where you were Shabbos during the day. Before Shabbos, then we yes, of course, say Havlon. When it's not, then we don't say Havlon. The Gemara now asks, if you do not dwell in that area during the day, we do not say Havlon. But tonight we learned in the Mishnah, moving along to Memheyam and Hal. But tonight we learned in the Mishnah, that if within two armies of the city, you let it go in three or not. My love, Rabbi Lehi Ezzel Tamei Damar Bubem Son, you're in the middle of the four armies. Rabbi Amais, Dov Lehi Rabbani Kamadim of Law Dami. Why you let it enter into the city? He says, Rabbi Lehi Ezzel, because you're within two armies of the city, and that's your smack in the middle, two armies this side, two armies this side. And we say, Havlo, allowing you to enter the city. V'kam are yikanis. We say, you let it enter the city. Amal Havlo, Tchum and Bilsahi. So we see that we do say, Havlo, Rabbi, what are you talking about? Amal Rabbi, Arachan, Allah, Bayim, Umid Rabbi Lehi Ezzel, Kama Amr lay in. I'm asking for Rav Elazar. The Shmir lay minay demar because we did learn. I can't look like Rav Elazar. The Rav Elazar. When the Rav Elazar argued Rav Elazar, that was our shos. Avol dvar mitzvah. Mainly, everyone agrees to Rav Elazar with regard to dvar mitzvah that we're going to say Avla. That we're going to say that when you're in the middle of the four amos, two amos to the city, you let it enter into the city. And therefore, the Gemara concludes that Rabbi, you are incorrect. That we yes say Avla. Moving along to that, we said anyone who leaves is allowed to go back. But if you look two of us, as Gemara, you let it go back as far as you want. You more than two thousand amos. Well, I'm going to raise up. I am a Masula. Only two thousand Amos. I'm going to read the Marav. The Chazan declares, "I know the Kaiman. Yes, you'll have to bring your weapons back home." Well, my question: What was your question? That, what was your question? Tell me, Lahatzel Shiny. Maybe the Mishnah said you only have two thousand Amos. But when is Lahatzel? When you're leaving to save? When you're leaving to go to battle? That's different. Ali Kajal Kash. It's an Amos. Learned in the Mishnah. Very shemulei. It says the Mishnah Goliim Kulai. In the beginning, when they went to testify in the new month, they never moved. Once they got there, it's going to be the Lahatzel Shiny. Not about the Chol Ruach. He said he get two thousand Amos. Vloi Elu Bilvan. Not only in these cases, Amru Alav Yilu Chacham Abali Yaleid. Even the case of a woman giving birth, a midwife. You're going to save from a flood, from a battle, from a battle. Women are from a flood, women are from a building, women are from a fire. Here you go to that city. And you get a new tchum of 2,000 amas. Anyone can go back. So you're telling me you only get to go back 2,000 amas. When you're going to save, you're going for a fire, you're going to give birth. What's going on? We see you can go back wherever you want. That's where he said this rule. That's where he said this idea that you're bringing back your tools of war. That's where you're allowed to go back to more than 2,000 amas. Originally, they wouldn't go all the way back home with their weapons. They would leave it in the last house by the city. The enemy realized that what's going on? The enemy realized, ah, they just put down their weapons. Now's a great time to attack. Said, oh no, they turned around to go get their weapons. And they started chasing them. They pushed each other to get their weapons. And they killed each other by pushing to get their weapons more than the enemy killed. So at that moment, you can bring your weapons all the way back home. We have to come to the when you we win the battle, then there's no reason we need the, the, the weapons back home. We won. We're, we're ruling now. When the Gaim won, then we have to bring the weapons back home. I'm going to read them. If the Gaim siege the city, you're not allowed to do battle with them. Over money? What do you mean, Machal Shabbos? They just want to take away your money. You know, Machal Shabbos, you're not allowed to fight with them. You're not allowed to like we just said, if the guy is sieging, then come to kill you. You are eating the and then you go fight them. And then you let him go to And the Gemara concludes, we are some of the Sabbath, if it's a port city, I feel like they're going to fight They don't come for lives. They only come for money, the cash. You are eating the Kaysan, and still you let him fight with them. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to it's like a city that is close to the port. I'm referring to Nardai. Where do we see this in the Taira? That when it's a port city, you'll have to fight. Even on this game, in a position of Chamin Bekila, the Pelishim are doing battle. They're chasing the Sagunas and they're drinking and they're destroying the granaries. This place, Kilo, was a place in the port. It only came from money. And it says they were chasing the Sagunas. Therefore, we see they only come from money. Except Vishal, what happened? Vishal, David, Hashem, David, asked Hashem, Leimar, Eila, Hey, look like he's a Belishim. Should I go and fight the Belishim? Eila, by Yomar Hashem, David, look like he's a go and fight them Belishim. Go shot this kill, and you're going to be victorious. Michael, be by the way. What exactly did David ask him when we're to him? Eila, me, Shari, Asher, am I allowed to go to war? Hari, Hari, Bezim, Shul, Shmuel, Arbasi, Kaim. 
Go to the Bezdin. What are you asking the Uruma to me? What are you asking God for? Ali Matiak, you're asking if you're going to be successful? They can have the Xavier Lechle Casey, Pepelisha, Mashati, Skilo, Shvamina, that he's asked whether he's going to be successful. But we see over here that when it's going to be a port city, then even on this key moment, you're allowed to go do battle. Tays is here to discuss what exactly is the Raya. Let's continue, says the Mishnah. Misha, you're going to be there for you've go, you're on the middle of the road, and it comes Shabbos. Then you realize, ah, I'm close to the city. How you blaze the the Do you have in mind? you only can be kind of shvisa, only acquire the dwelling place with intent. Or if you don't, you can't be allowed to. Or if you don't, you can't be allowed to. Or if like I held that Rav went in without kavanah. Tanya learned to the Brisa. Says the Gemara, "Amar Rabbi Yudamayz Barav Tarvin Jay Malach Bedar B'Chash Kulai and he came dark below Mechutz Liyir and he went to sleep outside the city of the Shabbos in the morning. Matu Rai Bakar the shepherds found Rav Tarvin there. Amar Lai Rabbi Ari Yer Levenach the city's right here. He came he went to the city. Nicholas Judge Rabbi Zimid Hadrish Vedarish Kulai and Kulai and Hadrish Amar Lai Shem Raya What's your proof over there? Shem of Levi. So first of all, maybe Rav Tarvin knew about the city and he had intent going. Are you based in Israel? Mul of Zechumai and maybe that was within the two thousand Amos where he was sitting. So it's not a proof at all. Says the Gemara Mishnah. Mishi Yashem Vedar Some falls asleep. But Lai Yadav Shachadish Kulai. The only other Shekhashikh like, doesn't know that it became Shabbos. What is the din that Yeshla Payam Ram Lachor wrote to Rabbi Yechamin? A very important opinion. We're going to discuss Rabbi Yechamin for the next two but that you're allowed to be coined in Shvisa without any knowledge. You fell asleep and Shabbos began. You get 2,000 hours before you fall asleep. Chama argued, they say, No, I'm not going to be able to do it. You're in the middle of four hours. Rabbi Yehuda, I'm going to be able to do it. So you're going to go whichever direction. But tomorrow we'll discuss what is the Machlik is Rabbi Yehuda and the Tanakhama. Oh, my dear Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, I'm going to be able to do it. Shame, beer, like Shane Yachal, lots of it. Once you choose one direction, you can't go back. Are you shy? Mix as a mice, as a mice, as a mice, as a two different people, each one having their four amis, and they are swallowed up within each other. Mabin Baikhlan Bam said, let it go and eat in the middle area. That to both of them, it's a humble vibe. But be careful, so you see, don't cake from one into the other one. The day shall have a you slay shop. There's three people, but I'm saying, move up and aim in the middle guy. He swallowed within the two out. The guys who move to your mother, baby, move to your mother. However, say, you see, that's that. The two outside guys cannot eat with each other. Amr Rav Shilam Adar Vadaim. What's this comparable? What's the same type of case? The Shalosh Chateiros. We have three couriers. Have Sichlus Zulus. They're opening to each other. Sichlus Zulus Rabbim. Every Shtayim Em Em Sayis. The two outs can make an air with the middle guy. He mutar Zimai. The middle guy is mutar with the outside guy. He mutar Zimai. We Shtayim Em Chizanu. The two Zulus Zulus. They're also to each other. Says the Gemara by Rav Mike. Rav Yechonu. What exactly does Rav Yechonu hold that he said you can be kind of Shvisa when you're sleeping without knowing it's Shabbos? Mizra because Haver Chavsi have a kind of Shvisa. Does he hold that ownerless items acquire Shvisa acquire their two thousand Amos not knowing about? But then who did look like kill him, and therefore Rabbi Yechonu could have argued even about killing about vessels. But how to commit like be Adam? Why do you say he's been about people? The idea of the Rabbanan comes to teach the din of the Rabbanan. That the Rabbanan old Dav got tikkun meimar hayav v'neir kana yoshen ami kana. Maybe you think when you're awake you're going to shvisa. So maybe when you're sitting you're also going to shvisa. Come on, shulam the chachamim deloy. So maybe that's what Rabbi Yechonu is saying. Or he doesn't accept Rabbi Yechonu. But I'm not going to say I'm going to shvisa. Really, Rabbi Yechonu old that ownerless items do not acquire a shvisa two thousand amos on their own. But all kind of time, but why are we here? Do you kind of shvisa? I have an air kind of yoshen ami kana. Just like a person would be kind of saying the potential to do it is enough to let you be kind of shvisa even when you're sleeping. I'm right. Yisit Hashem, I'll bring you a rag. Tell me, Jared, the mayor of Yom Tov, some of the rain that falls in Arab Yom Tov gets two thousand amos. Be Yom Tov, it falls on Yom Tov. Rain correctly, go out does not get shvisa. So he Amr Shlom because Rabbi Yechonu Rebbe Chavzi have kind of shvisa. If Rabbi Yechonu Rebbe holds that ownerless items are kind of shvisa two thousand amos of their own, how many Rabbi Yechonu Rebbe? It's great. This is Rabbi Yechonu Rebbe. Then when the rain falls in Arab Yom Tov, you can be kind of shvisa like Rabbi Yechonu Rebbe Chavzi have kind of shvisa. Eli Amr the Chavzi asks, "Can you go shvisa?" How many Rabbi Yechonu Rebbe Rabbanon? What's the proof? Maybe we're about rain that's close to the city. is here, and they knew about that rain. They had das in it. less than a proof. Those who fill it up. What's going on? The seemingly is a contradiction to the case of the rain. Elav Shmami no, Harav Yechem and Nuri, Harav Anon. So therefore, we have to say, Rav Yechem and Nuri hold that Chavzei Havker are kind of Shvisa. Just like me, the Rav Yitzchak, Amr Leil, Chikam Rav Safra, Vachi Adrile, Amr Leil, Vamaila Tamele. Why don't you ask them very simply, Migufa? He's like, I think you should have asked Mukham the Yerskin. And if you think they were talking about the rain is right by the city, Ha Yishlam Abayim Amr Chal Ruach, Ha Karagdan Shayyim Yisayim Yibayle. Why did it say they get two thousand amos? You should have said that if the people know about it.